You've ridden all this way? I've ridden all this way because it says on the notes for black pudding. And I've got it and they don't do no black pudding. So, what are we going to do? Slade burn. Ah, we'll have to stick with a Victoria's Bungie and Sausage. Yeah. I'm ready when they are, let's go. And we don't know where we're going. I'm a cyclist and I live in the Pennines and welcome to my channel. And yes, you heard correctly then, we weren't quite sure where we were going today. But it turned out to be a cracking ride where we went to Millie's Cafe in Hurst Green. We've been past there a few times and it's been closed. And looking at the map there, that's where we're based in the northwest of England. And today's ride covered 64 miles, which is 103 kilometers. And looking at the parkour, it was going to be a hilly one with 3,900 feet of elevation gain which is 1,190 metres and it actually turned out to be quite a fast ride in general for us lot and we averaged 17 miles per hour which isn't too bad for early April and at first light there was frost on the cars but it was expected to warm up later on but anyway let's get back to the ride well it's a really nice Saturday morning it's fresh, it's cold Owen's got his shorts on I've got me uh, leggings today, two pair of gloves, three pair of socks. That's a good turnout as well. Right, where are we? We're about nine mile into the ride. The guys are going to come flying down here at about 30 mile an hour any minute now. In fact, here they are. I've got to get on the back before they get too far down the road. So having cycled through Bury and into Edenfield, you're joining us now on the main climb of the day, approaching the highest point at 980 feet above sea level. We're on the B6236, which is Haslingdon Road, and we've got Oswald's Whistle to the right. And I'm just trying to get ahead of the group to get the next flyby shot. Well, they call this Pie Mountain. And that's because there's a pie factory over there. And there's a bit of a break in the group here, so we have to climb now. Here comes Mike and Paul. No, sorry. That was Mike and Carl. We've got Paul off the back here. So yes, this is Paul, he's a new addition to the team um, and he's coming along for the rise and he's keen on and I think what he finds on the climbs, he's got his own pace he's pretty good on the flat actually uh, so I held back here and I told him back but as you can see there, he's fighting to get on the back wheel and the moment he does that, he'll save loads of energy looks like he was having fun there too and then my chest mount camera wouldn't start well this camera, it, it's intermittent, I don't know what's up with it, it's just cut out completely now, god knows. And we've got a mechanical, looks like Lee's got a puncher. Well it looks like Lee's at a pothole, had a massive blowout. And the guys are having a bit of a break, Owen's happy now, the sun's out, he's got shorts on. We're all wearing leggings today, because it is fresh, there was ice on the car this morning. Right, we're 23 miles into the ride, as you can see there we've got signs for Darwin, Blackburn, from the B6236. So let's just take a quick look at the ride in a bit more detail, where we'll focus on three key sections of this route. The first one being highlighted in green there, where we've just cycled between Haslingdon on that high level road, making our way towards Blackburn. The main thing here was to bypass the town centre and avoid the busy main roads and make our way towards the better cycling lanes on the outskirts of Ribchester. And you can see there now highlighted in blue that once we meet the River Ribble we're going to be getting into cycling heaven again and make our way towards Millie's Cafe which will put us at 35 miles. The countryside changes around here, it's green rolling countryside and it's just a fantastic place to ride your bike. And the final aspect of the ride today is highlighted in yellow and it's basically what you would call the 30 miles an hour all the way home bit. But it's not quite that, 
However, we do have some fantastic tarmac on the approach into Todmorden where you can reach some pretty good speeds and at times you can go quicker than the legal speed limit. But I shouldn't be saying that people. Anyway, let's get back to the ride. Where I think we're about to meet Mike. Mike's got a few words to say. Hi Mike. It goes on. Like this, every ride. 100 miles, you get this. Shortcut this off this busy roundabout section. Blackburn area, this. And so, this is the part of the ride where we're skirting around Blackburn on quite a major road here. This is the A6119. And we've got Lee on the front. Followed by Steve, Chris and Paul. And shortly afterwards we take a right and get on the A666 and head on towards Ribchester Road which is the B6245. <laughs> and that's where you join us now. And by the look of it there's a bit of a gap developing there so I can see that Steve and Andy are going to try and bridge it. And the only thing about this camera at the moment is it has no image stabilisation so the pictures aren't as good as the other camera. So I apologise for that. But here yeah, I've let them get away, so it's time to bridge the gap. I'm standing up out of the saddle, putting in some effort. And we do bridge the gap, but look in there, I don't think Steve's holding the wheel. So I've got to get up there, come through, and then see if Steve can get on my back wheel. It looks like Andy's bridged the gap. It's slightly uphill here. These are great country lanes. This is the section now, what I highlighted in blue, and this is where the ride really begins for me. Okay, we're all now strung out in a nice line. I do recall coming down here, this got pretty quick. It wasn't a downhill, but we carried so much pace and we were all working in this line out. Sometimes it's hard to look down at the speedometer, but I know that along here we were going from 25 to 28 miles per hour. Then we hit the mid 30 miles per hour. And that was a nice hand signal there by Andy, just pointing out a pothole. And at one point, I saw 42 miles per hour. As you can see, though, look at that blue sky. Perfect riding conditions, nice and dry. But if you look here, nobody is coming to the front. But then it all got very interesting. Here we are now. The road has been lit up. We're no longer in a straight line. We're all across the road. There's Chris on my left just passing Owen as I tried to make my way towards the front a bit more and this is the bit where I saw 42 miles per hour on my speedometer then we got Phil he's really low down there I'm on the outside thinking my god pace is really hotting up but let's just rewind the tape a minute and have a look at the road surface can you see that that is a horrendous pothole and we're coming over here at some speed I'm so glad we got round that in one piece but let's get back to the action where we've got Lee who's on the curb side and he's second in line with Andy up front and then we've got Phil third in line nice hand signal again there we really are tanking on here we've got a right hander then we've got the left hander this is the bridge that goes over the river Ribble that was a fantastic little bit of riding down there loved it well that was a really fast drop as we went down there over the bridge that ran it quick nice bit of a uh, chain gang in there on the build up. Yeah, Mike. Oh. How's it going, Mike? Uh, uh, 31, he's still. No, no, I'm back to normal now. Back to normal? Medication's worn off, Gaz. It's worn off? Oh, so you're alright? Yes, yeah, I'm alright now. Yeah. yeah, it sends me a bit loopy, Gaz. Yeah, it's alright. <sighs> nice out here, though, isn't it? Yeah. What road's this now? Have a quick look. Yeah, I'm not sure it's that's... called Gallows Lane. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Gallows Lane, yeah. 31.6 um, miles in, Mike. Built in. 1762 I think you, you like all these dates for roads don't yeah, you yeah I think that. the Romans built it yeah, well there are yeah. yeah yeah that field there might be full of Roman I think these um, edges watches and stuff I think these edges were erected um, in 1862 does ooh that's close and I think they were trimmed last week trimmed yeah it's a good word trimmed yeah I think it's pretty sure it was last week I think, the tra I think I saw a tractor coming up and down <laughs> <laughs> it's going nowhere, is it? <laughs> so after that little chat there with Mike, um, let's find out where we are on the map. As you can see there, that's the bridge we've just been over on the River Ribble. And zooming right in there, you can see Gallows Lane, which we're about to climb up. And, um, and Lee did put the hammer down going up there, to be honest. 
Oh yes, thanks for that Lee. Kicking our ass up that hill. Four. He put it into the hurt locker there for a moment. Right, well here comes the guys. We're actually in Hurst Green, about 35 miles into the ride. What a cracky sound that is when you see the guys go up there. Let's go and catch them up, come on. Well, we're finally at Millie's and it's open on one of our rides so we can get something to eat. They don't do black pudding, do they, Mike? No, they don't do black pudding, Darren. How are you I'm, feeling? I'm disappointed, really. I'm upset. No, he's upset. So I've had to go for sausage, you know. Do you want some more tablets? Yeah, I think Excellent. I might have to I'll I'll some I've gone for a Victoria sponge, though. Just oh, to yeah. Go. Good lad. You know, and a yeah, yeah. Old kind of cold it's thing. an old brainer, isn't it? Yeah. I'm afraid you've been told a bad one here, Mike. It's 75p, black pudding. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's low, you know, it's brought me in here. You've ridden all this way? I've ridden all this way because it says on the notes for black pudding. And I've got it and they don't do no black pudding. So, what are we going to do? Slade burn? Uh, we'll have to stick with a Victoria sponge and sausage. Yeah, yeah, alright. Alright, alright. Cut, we'll cut of that. Alright. I'm getting a bit worked up. Right, well, we found a really nice little sun spot there. The cafe's here. So, we'll get our butties and go and eat them up there in the sun. So, having got Mike sorted out, this was a really nice place to have your butties. And I really enjoyed mine too. Mm. And you know what was good about today? It was being able to get out with your friends again, socialise and have a good laugh. And I think we've missed it. The group rides are now back on. And finding locations like this, with a good open space, some warmth on your back from the sun, it can't be a bad thing. And personally, I enjoyed every minute of it. But anyway, time was moving on, and it was time to hit the road again. Well, that were a nice cafe stop. Sitting down, having your sausage butty in the sun. So let's make our way back. Be about a 70 mile ride by the time we finish this. And on the way back towards Worley, we passed the Three Fishes restaurant on Great Mitten Road. And it looks at the moment like it's been shut down. And the guys were behind me in hot pursuit. And the Aspen All Arms is just over there on the left. And it was Worley next. And so having cycled down King Street, up Accrington Road, we met the A671, where there was a lot of water on the road. And I don't like my bike getting dirty. Well, I ain't riding through all that sh there. What a joke. Right, well, we're at the lights near Paddyham. 44 miles in, the guys are down there, but I stopped because I ain't riding through sh roads like that. Not on this. I'm sorry, people. Keeping the bike clean. If it means getting dropped, we get dropped. I don't know, it's, it's borderline OCD. Well, in fact, it is OCD. You know what I mean? A dirty road, it's not acceptable. One clean bike. Well, that's always a tough climb, that. It's like a ski slope, but I'm well ahead. I got lucky on some lights, so I went my way down Rosendale Road and then we make our way on further towards the valley of Cliviger and Todmorden then. So just a quick catch up, we're on Glenview Road which is just after the crossroads that goes one way towards Rottenstall and the other way towards Burnley. The guys are coming up, we're 48 miles into the ride Averaging 16.6 miles an hour. So let's have a quick look at the map. And as you can see there, highlighted in yellow, that's where things start to get a bit interesting. In fact, things can get a bit quick. And then we bumped into a local legend. It was Dave Schofield. Just bumped into Dave. 
Oh, hey, Hi, Dave. Five o'clock. Are you off one now? Local legend. I'm just doing a 30 miler. So here we are near Holm Chapel, approaching the Cliverdy Gorge. And have a look at this. Chris is losing the wheel of Dave. And I can see there he's having to really dig in. And that is a credit to Dave, and I'm not going to mention his age. But when he chooses to, he can kick our asses. How old's Dave now? 74. He did 74 miles on his 74th birthday in January. And he's just dropped me on that line. Yeah. Okay, got the descent of Clifford, you know. That's Mike. And so having regrouped at that lay-by, it was time to hit this fantastic stretch of road. And it looked like Mike had actually gone to the front. And just moving further on down the road, approaching Portsmouth and Cornholm, there was a car ahead. Now, we can carry some good pace along here, and as you can see, we actually kind of made up ground on the car. So there's Steve coming through. There's Mike on the left in purple. There's Phil in orange, and the other orange rider is Andy. Looks like Carl on the inside there, with the blue and yellow stars. So at the moment we're coming down here at the legal speed limit, as is the car. There comes Owen there on the outside in blue, and um, this is the point where I've got to say, please don't do this at home, it's dangerous. Um, on the playback here, obviously we can come down here quicker if that car wasn't there. So some of the guys were actually drafting, looking like they're a bit too close. I'm just trying to hold back here, keep in line, try and catch the action as it unfolds. But basically, we followed this car all the way down to Todmorden. You can see there, we're freewheeling now. Um, at times we were kind of urging the car to go a bit quicker, but that wasn't happening. There comes Dave, he's coming through on the outside in yellow. I'm just skipping further on down the road here now. Um, this is a really good bit of road. There comes Mike on the inside. You've got quite a few series of turns left and right, so you can carry some good pace along here. On a good day, if you look at your speedometer, you'd be pretty surprised how fast you can go down here. You may creep over the speed limits. And again, I don't advocate this. And there's Chris getting into the action. Who's that on the right there? That looks like Phil. And again, the car, well, can't fault it. It's not speeding. And I'm just wondering who's behind me. I think it's Carl. I think he's going to come through on the inside. Go, go, go. This is a great right hander here as well. But you've got to pick the right line because there's some pretty uneven sections on it. But we all get round there in one piece. One point I would like to highlight though is that this is how fast modern bikes can go. They can very easily cruise at the speeds on these roads that other vehicles can do. And I think sometimes other road users don't realise we can actually go that quick. And on this section here it's borderline flat so we can still carry the pace at around 30 miles per hour and very shortly it drops down to 20 miles per hour anyway. So even as a cyclist that's very achievable for most riders. And so here we are again just coming down here some of us are freewheeling some of us are pedaling we're coasting along and we're keeping that pace continuing look at the sign there flashing in red that's indicating that we're very close to the speed limit and we're all across the road here we're not actually blocking the road or affecting any other road users because we're keeping up with traffic and in fact today it's the 13th of may as i'm editing this and i came down here tonight i was behind several cars doing 30 miles an hour all the way in albeit i kept my distance but i was riding at the speed of the moving traffic so there you have it really yeah i think we've spoke about this subject enough uh it may be thought provoking but i thought i'd just share it with you people so uh so i'll leave it there because this is what we can do on our rides if you want to ride quickly we can ride pretty quickly and we're just average keen cyclists and if you like the shots from on board within the group here's a nice little section on the final leg hole just on the outskirts of Littleborough where again the pace is pretty high and we were all strung out in a line
the next video, we're back out in Lancashire again, in the Ribble Valley, where we found a fantastic cafe at Sladeburn. So be sure to stay tuned for that one people. It was a cracking ride with some fantastic country lanes.